Hey everyone, uh, this is a very quick video where I'm going to show you how to use different forces to affect uh, fluid emitted by uh, separate sources in Phoenix. So what I'm going to show you now uh, is possible since Phoenix 4.3. Currently I'm using Phoenix uh, 4.41 official. So uh, let me start with a liquid grid. I'm going to make it wide and uh, fit uh, two geometries uh, which are going to uh, be the emitters of the fluid. All right, so like this, I'm going to move them up and I've got two separate sources for each of those. So I'm going to pick one sphere in uh, one source and the other here and let me start the simulation and here it is. So we have a uh, liquid emitted from, from the two sources. So uh, let me add a spline like this. So I'm going to use it as a guide for a Phoenix path follow force. Here it is, I'm going to pick the spline and when I start the simulation, all the liquid inside the container will try uh, to start following uh, this path right here. So even I can make the uh, grid even taller so that we can see what happens. Uh, whoops, uh, along Z like this. Okay, so you can see that uh, the liquid emitted from both sources tries to uh, reach the spline and uh, and to follow it. So uh, I want this effect to apply only to one of those sources. So for example, to this one. So uh, one way to do this is to use a particle tuner. So uh, in order to tell the tuner which force uh, will be tuned out, I'm going to use separate colors for the two sources, which are not going to be used for rendering. I'm going to just enable RGB. I keep uh, the left source uh, with the default green color and use red color for the right one. So I'm just also going to enable a simulation of RGB by enabling it here for the grid and the particles. And if I start the simulation again, here it is, we have the two different RGBs. I'm going to turn off the RGB voxel preview so we can see all the particles. And here it is. So I will create a particle tuner and I will uh, tell it to use the path follow force. And I will change the condition so by default, it says when the age is greater than one. So I don't need the age. I need RGB green to be greater than uh, just some value above zero. So for example, 0 0.5 is okay. So that uh, the green liquid particles would be affected by the path flow and uh, none other. So if I start the simulation right now, now the path follow affects only these particles right here. So the red particles, they just keep falling down and uh, they are not affected by the path follow anymore. So I can even move the source right here and it would continue to do its thing and will not be affected by the path follow force. So even if I, uh, if I start mixing it, with the green one, you can see that some of the red particles are starting to get mixed with the green color. So I can disable this. By default, uh, the colors of the liquids would mix, but I will turn off this option right here under the dynamics rollout, the RGB diffusion. So I will zero it. And now the colors of the particles would not mix anymore. I just had to make the timeline longer, but I will just restart the simulation so you can see it better. So here it is. I can just tell the red liquid uh, to 
pour over the end of the spline and it would not be affected by the pathfall at all. So it would just disrupt the movement of the green particles, but it's not affected by the force. Okay, so this was it. Thank you for watching and until next time.